Welcome to my hands-on tutorial on setting up an intravenous line. In this training, I'll walk you through every step from gathering supplies to securing and monitoring the site. This is perfect for nursing students, clinical staff, or anyone who wants to refresh their four skills. Let's get started. Step 1. Preparation and aseptic technique. Layout of all supplies on a sterile tray. You'll need 4 catheter 22 to 20 gauge common for adults gloves, tourniquet, antiseptic swabs, chlorhexidine or alcohol sterile gauze, transparent dressing, medical tapes, a lean flush filled syringe 5 to 10 milliliters extension set or 4 tubing sharps container close at hand. First, wash hands thoroughly, then don gloves without touching the outer surface. Clear the workspace and arrange tools within reach. This pre-planning ensures your procedure flows smoothly and safely. Step 2 Vein Assessment and Tourniquet Application Nurse applies tourniquet, inspects patient's arm, apply the tourniquet 3 to 4 inches above your insertion point, look for a vein that is straight and palpable soft and stays visible when the tourniquet's on commonly found along the forearm the cephalic or basilic vein. Ask the patient to clench their fist or use a warm pack for 1 to 2 minutes to dilate the veins. Release the tourniquet briefly to allow blood refill, then reapply to maximize visibility. Step 3 Cleansing and Catheter Insertion Using chlorhexidine or an alcohol swab, scrub from the center outward for at least 30 seconds. Let it air dry completely never blow or wave it dry, as that risks contamination. Now grasp the catheter close to the hub with your dominant hand, bevel up at a 10 to 30 angle, anchor the vein with your non-dominant thumb, insert the needle slowly, look for a flashback of blood in the chamber, once you see it, lower the angle and advance the catheter slightly until it sits fully in the vein. Step for needle withdrawal and connecting tubing. After flashback, advance the catheter while holding the needle steady. Withdraw and dispose of the needle into a sharps container immediately. Release the tourniquet once the catheter is in place. Next, connect your extension tubing or forset. Clean the injection port with an alcohol swab. Connect the lure lock securely. Gently flush the line with 2 to 3 milliliters of sterile saline. You should feel a smooth flow and see saline enter the tubing or drip chamber, no swelling or resistance. Step 5 Securing and Labeling Use a transparent, semi permeable dressing to cover the insertion site and catheter hub. Ensure the dressing isn't too tight. You should see normal coloring and check pulses. Next, label the tubing directly below the drip chamber. Include Date more DD or Y time, for example, 1345 your initials nurse. Clear labeling ensures compliance with protocols and prevents infection risk, or tubing generally requires change every 72 to 96 hours. Step 6 Monitoring and Initial Care Immediately record your start time, site location, and gauge in the patient chart. Hourly, perform a site check, look for redness, swelling, warmth, coolness, ask the patient about pain or discomfort, palpate gently for cord-like veins, flubitus. Gently flush again if not running continuous fluids. If you notice swelling or coolness suspecting infiltration or warmth or red streaks for flubitus, stop the infusion and remove the catheter. Step 7 Troubleshooting and Tips Here are some quick tips. Use a 10 to 20 angle on small fragile veins. Twist off excess catheter instead of pulling directly. Stabilize the catheter hub while flushing. If flashback is absent, slightly reposition but never reinsert the needle. Always reposition to a new vein if complications arise. And always follow your institution's guidelines especially for pediatric or elderly patients. And that completes our 4 insertion training. Remember, aseptic technique, proper angle, secure dressing, and vigilant monitoring are keys to success. Thanks for watching. Share this with your colleagues. Hit like and subscribe for more clinical skill guides. Comment below with what you'd like to see next.